Hey there. So today I want to talk a little bit about the case of the Littlest Umbrella. This is my Indiegogo project. It's been up for about 17 hours and it's at $6,100. I'm hoping that within two days we can get it going at funding and I'm pretty excited about it. Now if you haven't heard anything about this, this is essentially two comic book offerings. You have the first, the case of the Littlest Umbrella, which is an all ages Lovecraftian experience. Now when I'm talking about all all ages. I mean that it's fit for everyone. I don't mean that it's going to shirk on the horror experience, but it's going to have something that can relate to kids as well as adults. You can enjoy it too. We start out with a guy that is tired. You can see him here. He decides he's going to go to sleep and well, the next day rolls around. He's fully rested, ready to go, and boom, he finds papers written in some type of language that he doesn't understand there. So he thinks, man, I've got to throw that out and start all over again. So the next day, he wakes up again, and well, it's happened once more. This, it's starting to bother him because he has this yet again, and he knows something's going on. And well, when he goes at night, there's something dark. The time has come. The uh, dark moon arisen as the eye of the old one flutters and starts to close. Now this, of course, means that someone has to come in. And yours truly, Detective Yep, has to go in and check out the case. Now this is drawn by Kyung Lee, who does an amazing job. These are roughs here, and really, if you look at the uh, detail even in these roughs, I mean, it doesn't even do it justice, and yet still, look at the horror aspects here. You also, I mean, if you look at there, I mean, you could see exactly how that comes together. And you also have some of the cute delivery with that umbrella girl as well. Plus, you know, things that are monstrous and, well, they go bump in the day. Now, the second story available, of course, is the quest for the goody bird. If you don't know what that's about, a certain comic book writer out there decided to throw out a message that now lives in infamy. She decided to say, that stuff out there, it looks like the Rorschach test version of a goody bird. Now, everyone wondered. What does that mean? What exactly could that entail? And well, the tweet, it of course, it became a meme that became a legend that you have everyone involved in Comics Gate asking about. So, come one, come all, Umbrella said, come and listen to my word. A fireside tale, a mystery solved, of the elusive Goody Bird. Now, you'll notice so many people represented here, from the Ethan Van Skyvers, to the transcript-laden uh, Nasser, to just some guy, to a man and his faithful dog, to a certain wonder and, well, a pineapple-hating individual. So many folks there, and of course, Cecil is love is there as well. Yellow Flash, like I say, so many folks. You, of course, as you go out, you have to move past the comic skate, because this, of course, the gatekeeper the Rinfa mice and other creatures that want to keep you away. This very much is Comics Gate individual. This is basically talking about that. And it's a shot across the bow saying, hey, we see you folks too. Now you have the uh, little umbrella girl going out and trying to solve this mystery as she sits by the sunbeam forest. And of course you can see the pie laden trees. And there are things that are hidden all over the place for people to find within these. You can see reading that dinosaur book, trying to figure out what exactly is going on. Now this, of course, it takes you everywhere, looking under every rock, trying to find out where that donut swan or that bagel goose, who exactly could have that, going everywhere, trying to figure out answer that question. Now that question is eventually answered too and well it ends with an umbrella solo like you never could believe and actually people can be worked into this although these, this uh, tier is almost done. Now this is by the impressive Peter Gilmore. You have Kung Lee on one title, 
Peter Gilmore on the other. Of course, all of these will be signed by me since I will be the one sending them out. So, you know, it'll be a lot of fun here. If you haven't checked this out, too, I would encourage you to do so because this is a title that basically we can put out. We can make our own thing. We can do our own thing out there where we were told we weren't welcome to participate in mainstream comics. That's okay. We have essentially put together our own brands. We have put together the type of things we want. And this, I think, is important because it pays homage to what we've done in one title. It also, it remembers every type of a fan in the other so everyone can enjoy it i think it also it shows that first step forward that first foot forward while trying to uh, set up a brand so when you're looking at this stuff yeah i think it really actually has something to say but anyway if you want to check that out this of course is the case of the littlest umbrella it will be available for a few days here i will be showcasing a few more uh, pictures with this with Ethan Van Skyver and on. I've been saving a couple of completed ones just to say, yeah, this is what that looks like. And man, you'll want to get it for sure. Anyway, tell me what you think about this stuff. If you enjoy it as it completes uh, its uh, backing there, I will add on different things. I think uh, the person I will announce for the uh, cover as we get to a certain point with the uh, cover coloring, I think that will actually impress some people and there will be other things along the way. So anyway, tell me what you think. I appreciate you and thank you.